Here's the rest. I've talked about Christina Aguilera in the past and I use the word rasp just because that's how people are using the word. However, there is a difference between rasp, growls, and squalls. V L O T H Blood. If you were to look on a frequency spectrum, in the higher parts of the frequency, so to the right of the spectrum, you would see a lot of activity that would be going on. We are gonna call that vocal distortion. And what I mean by vocal distortion is basically there are clicks, there's pops in the voice that aren't necessarily pure. If you were to get like a, a classical singer, a classical singer doesn't sing with like pops and cracks, like errs and ahs, and like just like these different sounds that are accompanying the notes of the voice. Yeva's voice uses rasp. Her rasp is unintentional uh, in that she's going into her higher register, but the clicks and the pops that are happening aren't necessarily intentional all the time. Now, she might be adding some grit to her voice, and when she adds that grit, that would be moving into the growls and squalls area. Growls and squalls are very similar, but squalls are a little bit grittier and they have more activity than a growl. So if I were to growl, that's kind of what Christina Aguilera does. There's still a little bit of clarity in the note. And squalls, I only really hear squalls in the gospel genre because once you get out of the, you know what, let me just redo this for you. This Y axis is actually going to be the level of vocal distortion or like how much distortion there is in that there is a higher speed of distortion and there, so there's more clicks and pops per second. So with a pure tone, uh, there's no clicks and pops, it's just a pure tone. So the level of distortion is down. But with a growl tone, uh, like I was telling you about with Christina Aguilera, that has a little bit more, in fact, a lot more than a pure tone. So let's, let's move that a little bit up. And then a gospel squall from people like Karen Clark Shear has even more pops per second. And then we have rasp. Sometimes it's unintentional, sometimes it's intentional. So I'm just gonna leave this in red. I'll put a blue marker around that because it can be intentional or unintentional. Yeah, this is unintentional. And what we'll do is we'll join those lines. With Yeva's situation, we're dealing with unintentional rasp. There are a lot of areas where she's singing, where sometimes she hits it, sometimes she doesn't, and she doesn't care because she's singing emotively. And I, it's something that I like. However, when we get into the whoa, she comes in and out of rasp. I'll show you. There's the rasp. So what we hear is at the top, there is a level of distortion, she comes down and then she comes back and it's pure. The vowel is the same, even if you're looking in the video, the amount of effort is the same, there's no shift in her composure, there is still a level of effortlessness that's coming. So she's not necessarily trying to put the rasp there. Ultimately, rasp is, it can be good, it can be bad. I, I, like it on Yeba's voice and so it's not really a matter of whether it's right or wrong but it's just a matter of why it's happening.